I only want to see four things in your pull request. First, I want a reference to where the requirements are written. What are you doing and why? In Ladderly's open source project, we use GitHub issues for this. The second thing that I want to see is that you're passing the automated checks. If you're not passing automated checks yet, I'm okay with you opening a pull request, but please put it in draft mode. When it's ready for review, I'm expecting your unit tests, your type check, your build check, all of the automated checks, I'm expecting those all to be passing. Third and fourth, I'd like to see high quality code and a small amount of code. So try to keep your pull requests small. This is gonna vary by team, but personally, I like a pull request to be definitely under 10 files and under five files if you can do it. I would rather you solve a work item through multiple pull requests rather than putting it all in one pull request. So as an early career programmer, you might think you're doing a favor to the senior by completing a work item in one branch in one pull request. But if it results in like 30 files being changed, it's actually harder to review. And it's also riskier because you could have an unobserved bug anywhere in 30 files and you would need to perform a large rollback if an issue occurs in production. It's better to have a few smaller pull requests. How do I identify high quality code? High quality code is tested, typed, and documented. It, it could be self-documenting. You could have like really well-named variables. You could have well-named functions. So we call this readable code or code that's easy to reason about or easy to think about. We call this intuitive code. These are all relatively synonymous. It may take time for you to understand what's intuitive to other people. That's actually like a pretty big skill and a component of empathy. So early in your career, this is kind of a guess and check. Like it looks good to me. I reviewed it, I'm happy with it, what do you think? That's okay, especially early career. More senior in your career, we're gonna be like expecting to not need as much back and forth. There's like a point at which you should kind of know. You can also use an AI tool to do an AI code review. And if the language model is confused, that means that your code is not reflective of the normal patterns of natural language. And if it's not reflective of the normal patterns of natural language, it's going to be hard to read and reason about. So in 2025 and beyond, if your team has an AI review tool, I would see the AI review tool before I talk to a human. And that could make the code review ultimately easier for a human. I hope this helped. Thanks so much for the question. Follow for more.